Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save ordinary text as an image or a picture. Then I'm going to show you a second technique where you can save and customize your text in a far easier and more customizable way. So let's just create some text. And one of the most important things about saving text is that you need to ensure that it is exactly how you want it to be when you save it as the image. So if I say this as an image now, it would be exactly like this. Let's just be a little bit more creative. So I'm going to just adjust this slightly. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to go to the Home tab then along to center. Then I'm going to go up to the increase font size icon. I'm just going to click that a few times until I'm happy with the size. Then I'm going to go along and just change my font, something a little bit more creative. Perfect. Now, once I'm happy with that, the trick to this is to copy this text you can either do that by pressing Command or Control C, or you can go up to the Home tab and go along to this Copy icon here. Once you've done that, take your cursor and just click away from the text. Then go up to your Paste icon here, click on the drop down, and select Paste as Picture. Once you've done that and you click on your text, you'll see that it's been placed inside a text box. If I try to move this text box, you can see it's a bit clunky. So what I need to do is make sure it's selected, go to Picture Format, go along to Wrap Text, click on the drop down, and select In Front of Text. Then, when you hover over your text box and it changes to a cross icon, Click on the line and you can see now that we can move this around our document. And also when you go to resize it, click and drag and the text will resize as well. When you go to save this as an image, you right click, go down to save as picture. And it's really, really important that if you want to maintain that transparent background, so let's just click away. As you can see, as I move this over the original text, the background of this text box is transparent. If you want to maintain that, when you go to save as picture, make sure it's a PNG file. Then go up and change the name if you want to. Just save this as picture save it to my desktop and click save. Now let's just get rid of that. Now when I go to insert, picture, click on the drop down, picture from file. You see my picture is now my desktop here. Click insert and there you can see we have this image. Again it won't move so I'm just going to go up to wrap text in front of text and of course now we can move that around and that's our image. Now if you were to say this is a JPEG what would happen is that you would have a white background so as I move this over the original text there would be a white background behind this text. Now this is great if that's all you want to do but a lot of people want to put this text on an image in Word and then perhaps save the image and the text as a picture in itself so I'll show you how to do that and also a slightly easier way to customize your text. So let's just get rid of this and let's just quickly insert an image. So if we go to insert picture you can go down to something called stock images which are images that you're allowed to use within Word. You can of course go to your own picture so I'm just going to go to those stock images which appear over here. Then you have a range of different images that you can use. So I'm going to select this image here, click insert and your image will appear on your document. Now once again if you can't move the image around 
it's going to be back up to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And once again, you can then move your image around. So this next technique involves placing the text on the image, customizing it, and then saving the image and the text as one complete picture. So if we go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the text box and select draw text box. Then come back to your image and then just click and drag. Now by default, all text boxes will come with a white background and a black border. You can just see that black border there. Now, that, if that's what you want, then that's great. If not, we can get rid of that very easily. So make sure your text box is selected. Make sure you're on the Shape Format tab. Go along to this icon here, Shape Fill. Click on the drop down. Select No Fill. Then go up to this icon here, which is Shape Outline. Click on the drop down and select No Outline. Now if I click off, you can see it disappears. Just click around that space and you'll see it reappears. Click again inside the box and your cursor will appear ready for you to type. Again, let's just insert our text. And the great thing about doing it this way is that you can customize your text within your image to see exactly what it looks like and then save it all as a picture. So I'm going to highlight my text, go up to the Home tab, and of course you've got this area here which will customize your text. So let's just go down and change the font. I'm going to change the color using this icon here, font color. And then I'm going to use my increase font size icon here. And I'm just going to click on this a few times until I get the look I want. If it doesn't quite come out the way I want, I can either use this drop down here or I can just insert the number. So let's try 60. Press enter. And then I'm just going to center this text in my text box. So go to center text. I'm just going to click off that, see what that looks like. Okay, now we can just move this around any way we want to. So if you want this to perfectly line up with this image here, then all you do is highlight your text box click on your command or control key, hold it down and click on the image. And you can see they've both been highlighted because they've both got the outline. Go up to picture format, go over to the align tool here, click on the drop down, go down to align to middle. And what that will do is align these two boxes, which is the center of this box in the center of this box and line them up. Then just click away and then you can see it's perfectly lined up. Now to say this is an image, again, click on your text, hold the command or control key down, click on the image, go back up to picture format, go over to this group icon here, click on the drop down and select group. Now when I move it around, you can see that both the text and the image move around as one. Now you can go ahead and right click, go to save as picture. Now this time you don't have to save it as a JPEG because of course you've got the image in the background. Click on the drop down and you can select JPEG. Again, change the name if you wish. And then click save. Now let's go ahead and delete this and then let's go to insert, picture, picture from file, there's my image, click insert and there you can see your image has been inserted just like a picture would if you just inserted it from your desktop. Again we can't move it around so go back up to the text wrapping in front of text, now we can move it around. And again, like any image, you can now go ahead and resize it and your text will be part of your image. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.